Hello everyone, my name is Ebils Vox, and welcome to a brief review, uh, and kind of tutorial of Magisto, which is a free, quote, video editor or movie editor available as a Chrome desktop app. Let me just tell you right now, I was really hoping to have something cool to show you with my review of this, however, it is not even remotely what I expected from this program. So, first you need to log in with either Facebook or Google+. Then, go to step one, add photos and videos. I'm just going to click, click continue. Sometimes the buttons work, sometimes they don't. It's a little bit glitchy there. And then you can drag and drop your files or select your file. If you haven't logged in yet, it won't actually let you drag and drop your files, but when you click select file, it'll make you log in. Now, in order to drag and drop your files, unlike most websites or programs, you can't just drag it anywhere. It's gotta be in this box, but whatever. That should be a nitpicky. Okay, so let's find something. We're gonna go here. We're gonna choose files from recent projects. It's gonna be... This is gonna be my... We're gonna do clips of my prizes from the Control Freak ClashCom 13 stuff. So it's just going to be me going through them and the little clips of them. Okay. Drag it in there. What's this? Oh! You have to upload them. Okay. Well, that changes things. Yeah, I'm just kind of pointing it out. I originally... The intended use of this is basically to create basically like just picture slideshows with some filters on them and some copyrighted music basically to just show your friends. This is not an actual video editor. However, I'm going to walk you through the progress nonetheless once, you know, we're going to pretend my videos have uploaded here. They really haven't, but whatever. So, f another thing I would like to draw attention to is, well, first of all, it is web-based. This is, in a sense, interacting with just a website. So you must upload all your files, which and when I was going through my initial reactions, I'm like, okay, this is seriously going to slow down the editing process. But that was not taking into account what this actually is. Next, we have limitations. Huge limitations, actually. Up to 10 video clips, 5 photos, only 500 megabytes. That's not per file, that's total. And not longer than 25 minutes for your total video. Kind of restrictive from what I'm used to, but for its purpose, I guess it makes sense. So, we're going to go through and pretend that what I'm going to show you are the files I actually chose here. Okay, so we have some files that we have uploaded. Four photos and a video clip. These are not the ones I originally chose, but for the sake of not taking forever to upload, these are what I've worked with. They're all clips related to the Elgato, so we can at least say the final product is somewhat related to the things chosen, chosen I guess. The files are relevant to each other. Okay. This is where I just lost all hope for the program. At first I was kind of okay with it, but then I kind of lost all hope. I also notice it just kind of flashes when I scroll. That's obnoxious. But, choose editing style. Huh? I was like, wait, wait, what? And, and you look at these and it's just kind of like, what the hell? And apparently... Uh, they're, they're just like filters. They're just crappy little filters to to apply to your clips. So so we're gonna go with the teenage couple sentimental one here for our Elgato, because our Elgato is just an intense part of our heart, clearly. Um so we're gonna click that. Okay, step three, choose your soundtrack. This kind of shocked me even more. It's it's all copyrighted music. I've no idea if they have legal access to be able to be doing this with videos. I have no idea, you know, you clearly can't just post these to your YouTube channel without copyright tags and things like that. But thankfully you do have an upload your own music option. So we're going to go to my actual YouTube drive here and find, no, not that one. Find the music I use for my YouTube videos. That way, you know, it's music that isn't going to get tagged. I'm going to go to what's good for, ah, we'll, we'll go with the good old to buy from BBK Dragoon and just throw it up on there just so it's something we can use. Upload your music. I will say uploading is pretty fast. It's nothing, you know, it's not slowed down just because 
of it being a crappy program or something. It it uploads like you would expect. Then you get to name it. That, that's it. So we're going to name it El Gato to Dubai. Winky face. Then click create. It said to stick around until the progress bar reaches 100%. But this is not actually your, your video progress at all. It's going to email you when your video is ready. So basically you just click compose. You click close, ignore that. And you wait till your video's ready. And let's just say I'm not overall satisfied with the result at all. And I will show that at the end of the video. Um, Great. I'll just go to create new right now. Okay. So that was a walk through the program. Here's my thoughts overall. What the hell is this? The only reason... I'm being a little bit harsh on this because I jumped into it thinking we actually had... Because they do exist and I have ignored them in the past, but I was thinking we actually had a free attempt at a video editor. Uh, an attempt at a free video editor as a Chrome app that I would be able to show to a YouTube audience and show off and explain a little bit about. However, this is not that. The description was terrible. This is not at all what I got from the description of the program. I did not expect this even remotely. And so I'm really thrown off by it and almost bothered by it, so I'm being a little bit more harsh. But overall, if your only intention is to throw some photos and just silent clips together with a random hideous filter and with absolutely zero control over it and some copyrighted pop music, go right ahead. This is your program. If you're looking for anything else, this is not your program at all. And I would highly recommend against it. And frankly, I'm going to close it, go to my Chrome Maps menu here, and I'm going to uninstall it because I don't want it taking up space. Then I go back, and we're good. And then all you got to do is wait on the email to tell you your video is ready. And I will show you the result, which is not at all what I expected, at the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. This uh, Stay away from this program unless it's exactly what you're looking for, a program that throws a crappy filter, some copyrighted pop music, and your photos together. And I will see you all next time. Let me know if you're someone who would actually make use of this program in the comment section below. Bye-bye.